Like Mona? <laughs> Mona? <laughs> Wait, so what? <laughs> I'm when stuffed and put a gun. <laughs> you're old and your joints are all like, <laughs> and you're cold and you're. <laughs> I'm Christina from the US. Hi, I'm Callie from the US. Hi, I'm Andrea from Mexico. Hi, I'm Andrea from Spain. I studied Spanish very briefly a long time ago. I think the thing that stuck out to me the most and what I found very confusing when I was learning is that objects are male or female. Oh, oh that yeah. That used to yeah. drive me crazy because I would be like, how do you know a table is female? Has no like, sense. <laughs> has no sense. So like right. whenever I would use like la or el because it's male or female, that was so difficult for me. So mm. that's just what sticks out in my mind the most. For me, it's been the opposite. Other languages, I feel like there are more words for things that we don't have. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes we have to have a full sentence for one word mm -hmm. that's in a different country. So I feel more in the opposites. I have a friend who's Danish. I've heard this word a lot more lately. It kind of became like trending, I guess. I'm gonna say it wrong. It's like higgy, but like she says in Danish, it's like Hugo or something. I don't know how to say it, but okay. like, if you think of it, it's like Higgy. That's how yeah. it looks when it's spelled. And she was trying to explain it to me and she said it means this feeling that's like warm and cozy, kind mm -hmm. of, um, but it doesn't directly translate. I don't know, this is what my friend was telling me because she was like trying to think of how to explain it. She was like, it's when you're in front of a fire with a cup of tea and you have this like warm, fuzzy feeling. Oh. So that yeah. feeling. Yeah, so that's what I think of when I think of like these kinds of words. Yeah, people from other countries having this similar yeah, problem. Right. They're like, oh, I don't think there is a word in English for this, so. Oh. <laughs> you wanna go first? <laughs> looks like anteater. <laughs> like, I don't wanna say it, but it looks like anteater. Okay, does. okay, okay, that's not how you say it. Anteer. Anteer. They're like, <laughs> no. Anteer. So it's like, <laughs> so it's anti hair. So it's like, anteer. Anteer. <laughs> anti hair. I have no clue. Is it a noun? Is it a thing? It's about time. Hour. On here. Late. Oh. Early. Schedule. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the movie Everything Froze in New York City? The day after tomorrow? Oh, oh. Is oh, is that what it like means? That? The no. day after? Okay. No. But the next like it's, day. It's in yeah, yesterday. It's... Two days ago. <laughs> Two days ago. <laughs> oh, you were so <laughs> close. <laughs> there is no word in English for that? No. Okay, no, okay, because there's no English word. I didn't word. know it. I thought sense. there was also in a specific word. It's like the day after tomorrow. It's like the opposite. Oh. Like, you know, two days ago. Two days ago. Two two days ago. Oh, there's no word. word. There's oh. no. Did you just say two days ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's too difficult. <laughs> but in Mexico, we'll say like antier. 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 Ew. Oh. So complicated. The day before. <laughs> Today. Yeah. 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 We have like full sentences for maybe one word. I heard that the, the English language. Uh, they're much less words before compared. stand date or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mono one, one. <laughs> yeah, mono means one. One, Usually, right? Mono, right? Like this is a short word. This must I be bet simple. It's, it's I bet it's super quite. complex. Yeah. So something that we don't have in English. Doesn't mono mean like one? Why are you giggling? <laughs> Does that I'm mean like, we're close? No. Um, <laughs> Like, it's all the same, mono. You're going too deep now. <laughs> in Mexico, mono, it means so much things. It would be like mono, probably a monkey. Mono, like a doll, like a doll. Oh, it's a mono, that's so cute. A monocycle, you know? That one, like one, monocycle because it's just one. That would be like, totally makes sense to me. So it's like, kind of okay. I'm getting more confused. <laughs> We say one of the same. This is not one of the same. Yeah. For memorize, uh, mm -hmm. in an easy way, you can think like one mono, one mono is cute. So you will remember that word, you know? Uh, like maybe a monkey dressed cute, so you can remember oh, the word. Okay, so it's like similar to like cute? Like a memorized trick. It depends on what you're trying to talk about. Oh, okay, mm. okay. Like mono? <laughs> mono? <laughs> Or mono, like, that's so cute, that's so 
mono, so you can remember. Every time, oh, okay. Okay. you won't forget it. Every okay. time you hear mono, you will be like, and like, like this. Yeah. Sombremesa. Ooh, that sounded right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can convince me. <laughs> Is your flag right? Are oh. you from Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> try, try. Wait, how did you say it? That was really good. <laughs> Sombre mesa. Sombre mesa. What do you think? It's mesa the means meaning. table, right? Oh, wow. yeah. 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 Knife drink Boom. Spanish. Terrifier. <laughs> <laughs> Somber, like sad table. This is getting okay, deep. Okay, now I'm getting... <laughs> something okay. table. It must be something table, right? <gasps> but that something word. that we don't have in English. That's the hardest part. With the table. <laughs> Already you know mesa. Yes. The other part of the word, sobre. 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 Sober. Alcohol. Like <laughs> oh, it doesn't make any sense. It might be alcohol. involving alcohol in it, so yeah. Mm -mm. Wait, so what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have dinner. And then like we all like finish our dishes and it's like, oh, let's grab a uh, coffee and a dessert. That's like sobre mesa. We already oh. eaten, but we have like still time to shop. Eating with family or with friends, I think in the Mex in Mexico is the same. It's it's like a culture thing. Uh -huh. We like to do that uh, time longer. So after you can also drink wine and for example Sundays with my family it can happen that we start lunch and we finish in the din doing the dinner. Oh, okay. I, I like think it's the same. The same, same in the, in the US. Yeah. Yeah. We sit for a long time. Oh, I was going to say that with me. Well, I think it depends where you go, but it's if true. like for fast food you would you would be really fast. Yeah. And coffee shops it's like usually you don't even sit in, you mm -hmm. just get it to go. Yeah. Well, I like for both. sit down restaurants. It's just different. I, I like oh. here that you can eat so fast and also I can I like in Spain that I can enjoy with my family. I like both, it's just mm -hmm. different. Back. I think it's difficult. En empalagar. Empalagar. Empanada. Like Me food? too! Is that kind of food? Empanada. Okay, what is an empanada? Like a uh, food. Like a bread, pastry, stuffed. Like food. stuffed empalagar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> kind of. Like I'm full, but yeah. But it's a bit different. It's not when you're full. Oh, like a weird feeling in your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like so butterflies, kind of nervous feeling Ooh. in your stomach. Mm. You were getting closer with the empanada. Mm. Mm. What are the wait? What do they look like? Stuck. It's like the half moon, right? Kind of. <gasps> Pregnant. <laughs> Is it like say snack? it's related it's with related to sweet flavors. Mm. Oh, you're so sweet and black. <laughs> oh, oh, like it has like, like a sweet? meaning like, like that. that? Mm. Like is it like too, like uh, too sugary? What happens? Oh, too sugary. Yeah. Too sugary? What happens when when you eat so much sweet? Stomachache. When you eat too much sugar and you get a stomach ache. Get hyper! You're like hyped up. Oh, sugar high! Chimpalar will be like, like when you eat something sweet. sweet, like you just won't sweet anymore. Like you, you need yeah. something salty. Tongue is yeah, like, like too many sweet. Like mm. you, you know that feeling in you? Like, oh, that was so Also, sweet. a couple can be empalagosa. A couple. Oh, the, yeah. The t they are uh, all the time together. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> like, get them <around. laughs> Ah, uh, frío, frío lento. Mm. Oh, mm. cold. Mm. Could it be like the relationship is kind of cold, like um, a little awkward or something? Mm. No, it's okay. it's more related. Oh, to to buy. Wait, 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 so, like I always like I feel so cold all the time. Oh, yeah, it's a, cool. It's a person that even if the weather is like normal, they all the time are oh, using God. covers oh. and. Oh. Finally, I have a word to describe myself. <laughs> Finally, cold my, all the time. my hands are always cold. My feet are always. Mm. Yeah, me too. Okay, the most confusing for me, and I still don't totally understand it, is mono. Because like, oh, yeah. I was like, does it mean cute? Does it mean dolls? Does it mean monkey? It has a There's lot so of meanings. Yeah. It's not just one meaning. Yeah, that's one I think that's why I'm very confused. Yeah. But just remember, how would you remember mono? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. <laughs> 
I, it was really difficult. I thought, like, it's just because we don't have these kinds of words in English, it's right. so hard to guess what yeah. kind of like feeling or expression that it might be. Right. I feel right. like when we look at these words, I like how we're trying to do like, <laughs> oh, it sounds like this, or like uh, it rhymes with this. Like we take it very literally. Yeah, yeah. Just because we have no idea. But it was really interesting and really fun. Mm -hmm. That's the bad thing in Spanish that we have one word that means a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That could be really confusing to foreigners. So today we learned some Spanish words that don't exist in English. If you like the video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.